G'day everyone and welcome back to NS2HD. It has been a long time since my last video and if you're wondering why, check out NS2HD number 136. But I am here for the weekend and I have produced a whole bunch of videos which I am going to release throughout this coming week, which is my last week away. Uh, I missed build 168! I'm so sad! This is the second ever NS2 build that I have not been able to make a video on and not record. It is the only one that's not in my library of NS2 recordings. And I'm very sad about that, but uh, I do get to play build 169, and so this video is going to cover both. Now, the change logs are up on the unknownworlds.com blog, and uh, they're really worth taking a look at, especially since Unknown Worlds has put up a really, really good change log video narrated by Charlie Cleveland, the Unknown Worlds game director, and it provides great insights into such things as Skulk Warwalking, which is the biggest change in, the, uh, in build 168 and build 169. Uh, other big changes are the uh, the skulk t view tilting when on walls, which is part of wall walking, and uh, some shotgun bugs being fixed, and quite a funny one, the gorge heel spray can now only hurt enemy players and not structures, which one would expect. I won't go through them all in detail, but have a read for yourself. Build 169 followed up hot on the heels of Build 168, and was to fix the sound bug, which reappeared briefly in Build 168, and was instantly qu squashed in build 169 and there are a couple of other little changes that came with that quick fix as well but uh, now on some build 169 gameplay so the skulk war walking wow this is the biggest change by far in this build and it is really really fun it is now you've obviously got the the camera tilting which you can see and it's just so much easier to stick to walls for example here sticking on this wall and then jumping down on this marine with a flamethrower i mean this is what skulking is all about it's using the fact that you can maneuver all over the walls and ceilings to take out the enemy and it's just so much easier now and dare i say it, it's just as easy to walk on the walls now as it is to walk on the floor so cool new changes server room is no longer a resource node for the alien team it is a tech point so uh, big changes in server room and I think it looks kind of cool with a hive in here so just flying around as a lurk to show you guys what it looks like the room has had one of its walls knocked out and the tech point inserted there and the resource node re removed also in tram tunnels there is this crash tram I think that came in in an, in an earlier build but it is definitely in there now and uh, the, the changes to server room mean that the whole strategy of tram has changed and you will see that a lot if you watch one of my public game commentaries which is going to come up after this video but uh, the whole strategy of fighting in uh, tram has changed because now the two fast expansions are diagonally opposite each other instead of both being on the western side of the map so it's no longer a fight for tech points on the west side and a fight for resource nodes on the east side and I think it is good long term for trams game balance. So very, very different now. Aliens now more able to push for observation on operations, resource nodes and marines more able to push into tram repair. So that's it for now guys. I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at build 168 and 169. Look out for more NS2HD videos in future. Thanks for watching everyone.